and then we'll answer questions and do whatever we need to do. So I'm glad everybody's on and um, we got kitties that are being crabby and grouchy and silly and all that all together. Uh, Gemini, Gemini and her mom was here today and <laughs> there's kitties poking out from below and they brought a case of friskies. It's the ocean uh, white fish and tuna. This is, is one of their favorite flavors. So we got a case of that. And they also brought a case of the filet chicken and tuna dinner. So thank you, Gemini and your mama. And they also brought whew, a four-pack of Kleenexes. But I, we had to get into them because we were low, so I had to get into them, so I just put them away. But they also brought four boxes of um, Kleenexes also. Okay, thank you, Jean. I just did because they were they were picking. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Jean. Okay. Appreciate you so much. Tell so, Libby I said hi if you see her. Well, I'll see you in Okay, tell her I said hi. I will do that. All righty. Take care. And so I already put the Kleenexes away, and we have this box from Gemini and her mom, too. And I'm so sorry I missed your visit. Oh, here we go. Wow. This looks like a packed full, and I see one thing. I'll give those to Kellen. Kellen's collecting these like crazy. It's the pop tab that she takes to the CHOPS hospital with her. And here's a card with a very cute kitty on the front. Oh, it says Jackie, have here are pictures of Max and Lily, I promise. There is one with Lily and Jazzy, our, our oldest dog. I don't know if they will show up for Kim, but feel free. Love ya, Edna or Jim, Jim and I. Lily, I'm not sure if that'll show up. She's a big calico. She's like a white calico. Here's one of her. You might be able to see a little better. So this is Jim and I's kitty. Very cute. Oh, and one of my favorites, that's Max. A big old tux, tux baby. These are cute, Gemini. Oh, and here's your dog. Oh, with Lily. Jezebel and Lily. You know, isn't that nice when doggies and kitties can get along? And here's one of Lily also. Those show up pretty good. Aw, thank you for sharing those, Gemini. I appreciate it. What kind of dog is, is uh, Jezebel? Oh, Jazz is still with you. Good. What kind of doggy is Jazz? Oh. A boxer lab. Very, very cute. I can see the sun shining on her. They sure do like the sunshine, don't they? Thank you, Gemini, for sharing these with me. I, I, I like it. I like it when you guys send, send cards and the postcards and the pictures. <clears throat> I always enjoy that. And we have something for the people. This is Pepperidge Farm chocolate. Seven varieties of our hand-picked cookie favorites. The volunteers will love this. I have a pin that's around the other side. It's pin number one. And I, I, when things come in for the volunteers, I put a sign on there. You know, volunteers, um, help yourself. These are from the webcam viewers. And so I will add this to that. So thank you. Oh boy, oh boy, I love doing these. The chicken, I love doing that. I, I, I kind of keep those big cans to myself and then that way I get to use them for breakfast so they think that their mama serves the best food. Of course, oh my, there's a whole bunch more in here. Oh, it's a whole case of them. Or, well, I call it a case. So there's five of them. Thank you, Jim and Mom. We will use those 
big time. And two of the whisker lickens. Oh, and there's another one. So there's six of the chickens. I suppose I'll have to put a couple in the in the cabinet so the other volunteers can use them also. And Q-tips. Wow, these are the mega loads. Sheesh, Whippin and Farah. <laughs> you guys know we use a lot of ear, ear cleaners. And, oh, this is the big, big one of the fancy piece. There's 36 of them in here. Thank you, Gemini and your mama. This is so very nice of you. Very, very nice. I appreciate it. And you know the kitties will make good use of all that food. And we'll just put this box over here for them to play with. And I'll stick this over here. So I put that over there for the volunteers. And we have a big box here. We'll be careful, Emma, lying under there. Oh, jeez. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. What did you do? Oh, you're not supposed to be up there. You hurt yourself. You all right? Every once in a while, these kitties get a little goofy. This one is Kozo. She just fell off way from up high. <sighs> Don't like it when they do that. See, but I'm okay. I'm all right. Kind of hit her on the face a little bit. Oh, <laughs> just a second. <laughs> It's okay, honey. Come here. You look like you're pretty, pretty bedazzled on that one. You want to lay with a friend? Here's your sister. Why don't you lay with your sister? That kind of knocked the socks off of her a little bit. She's okay. Oh. No matter what we do to try to protect everybody, they still every once in a while somebody will do something weird. Oh, this is from Jack Cat. This is from Jack Cat. And she sent um, five, no, one, two, yeah, there's five bags of the, of the Purple Imes Kitty. Thank you. We love this. We use, we do use good, try to use good quality food here. And just like I tell people when they adopt from us, we like it when they use for food at home, and we always send home good quality food home with them. Uh, something where the first ingredient is chicken. I probably, you guys have probably heard me say this before, but it's a proven fact that if you use a better quality of food versus the something where it's chicken byproducts or corn or something as the first ingredient. If you use some of the lesser um, quality, they have to eat more to get the uh, nutrition that they need, so they have to poop more. So you might as well use the better quality, and that way they don't have to eat quite as much. And I, I tell you, I tell everybody this, when any cat or kitty that's been here for any length of time, not only is their fur nice, um, but their skin is nice too, and I attribute that to, to the good food that we use. Um, I'm just going to read your questions off because you guys probably have hit everything I would have mentioned. I know uh, some of you want to see Bubba, or Bubba wants to see Twinkle. Let me see if I can see where she's at right now. Yep. She's giving herself a bath over there. Isn't she wonderful? Remember when she came in? I don't know if you can tell this or not, but this picture is when she first came in. Look how thin she is in the face. Yeah. She is wonderful. She loves to eat. And she, you know, she's just one of those kitties that just doesn't ask for much other than to be petted and loved. Um, she's just a good kitty. 
and she loves the attention. And I promised her and promised her she will never, ever, ever have another flea in her life again. So we love her. <laughs> she, she's looking at me like, what was that all about? And Feline wants to see um, Cinnabon. And if I don't see him as he's zooming by, I'll find him, Feline, and see if I can show him to you. Um, Mom, oh, I don't know how you pronounce this one. Mom, something chief, wanted to know if he, she could adopt something and keep it here. We really try not to do that. I don't know if you're serious on that or not. But we really try not to do that because we want these kitties in their own homes. This is a great life for them, and it's fun, and they're super, super well cared for and taken care of. But I always tell everybody there's no um, replacement for their very, very own home. You know, for those that have to stay here or the oldsters, you know, this is great for them. But there's, but there's nothing like their very own home and um, family for them. Uh, Nuki asked if I if there's anything new on Tasco and Hudson. Uh, nothing new because Tasco still thinks Hudson is very 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 cute. Um, she the, or he, Tasco is wonderful. He was over here sleeping a little bit ago, and I think it's kind of odd that Hudson is the only one that he really does that to. So I'm not quite sure what that's about, but um, I don't think he's been as obsessed with doing that is what he was earlier so hopefully the um, wonderfulness of Hudson is wearing off on him a little bit and Jim and I I'm sorry I missed your visit sure wish I'd have been here I'm really really sorry that I did miss you Queen asked how McAllen is and I haven't heard back yet I imagine tomorrow will be the day that we'll hear back from them so hopefully I'll have something to tell you tomorrow MK Mouse asked, how was the Skype interview? And someone else also asked about this, uh, the Skype interview. went fine. It was very relaxed. I just sat here in a chair. We had a couple pieces of tall cat furniture here behind me. And I know Farah was over here. And there was a other, couple other cats behind me. And there was a cat in here. And I was holding, um, who was I holding? Cessna. I think I was holding Cessna during it. It was maybe 10 minutes. They talked about Bella first, and then I was introduced, and just real easy conversation just about the rescue center. It went real good. I'm not sure when it's going to be aired. I would imagine it would be fairly soon, but um, I, and I'm sure somebody will see it and then put it on Facebook that it's up. So we'll go from there. Carolina Ash and Cat Lady asked to see Anani, and I would love to show you Anani. This is Anani. This is the boy that was under the hood of Linda's um, Linda's truck. She left here, stopped down the road a piece to watch something, and was there for just a little bit. And then she went to her apartment, and when she turned the engine off, she heard him whining like this. You know, he's, he just totally cracks me up because every time I look at him and stop and pet him, he's he's been sleeping a lot. But he lays on his back, and he stretches out, or he's got a cushy bed in there, and he'll kind of just put his head over and then pretty soon he gets so relaxed his whole head is over the edge and it's upside down and he has relaxation down to an art he is beautiful yeah it'll probably be a few more days couple more days maybe maybe Sunday afternoon maybe we can start letting them out a little bit actually I thought tomorrow maybe we could um, open his door he's in Dodger's pen in the big office and close the door that goes out to that room and let him just cruise about in there. Isn't he wonderful? Hey, hey can you say hi again? Okay, do you love everybody out there? You do? 
A whole lot? A whole lot? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go back to sleep? Okay. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. There you go. I'm telling you, these volunteers that we have here are awesome. Just like him. He's got, uh, I think every time somebody comes, they add more bedding. He's got quite a thick layer of bedding in there. He's got like five toys and big bowls of water. And uh, these guys are awesome. I love our volunteers. So, he didn't. Um, are you okay, baby? Well, that's what Skeetikins was just asking about, if Lytle's making any friends. And I think the answer to that was absolutely no, not yet. She goes back up in her pen for her comfort and for her security. Um, just not, I was, I'm not even sure who that was. It might have been Noble that she knocked down. And we'll move that up so that she has a little more space. You know, when she first came in, she wasn't real tall. She wasn't real super keen on all these kitties but uh, today I noticed a big difference in her she's a lot better with it so maybe I know she had a brother though so I think a couple more days of being in all of this kind of kitty world here that she will be fine I, I really do and even if she doesn't want them in her face that's okay too you know she doesn't have to have them right there in at her face but she is pretty I'll get her out and show you her too come here Lilo Oh, yeah. She's a real people kitty. Oh, oh she says, I'm, I'm really tired. She's had a big day today. She's been out of her pen almost all day. She's a good girl. I, I've got to sit down and get pet finders caught up. And we got to get her in there. Because I know, I know somebody will give her a wonderful home, too. She is. She's just gorgeous. And she's got a good personality. She's just real pretty. I'm going to show them how beautiful of a tail you have, too. And she's just kind of a, a lump of goo sometimes. She just kind of melts right into you. Can you say bye? Okay, I'm going to go back to my bed. All right, honey bunny. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm showing you while I got got him. <laughs> this is Tiasco. This is the big boy. Oops. You got a little something on your nose. Isn't he a hunk of a good boy? I just love him. He just he just is an awesome little kid. Re well, cat. Remember when we got him, he was only five weeks old originally. And he was found down there at the riverside you like Hudson so much? Hmm, are you a Hudson baby? <laughs> He's just a lover bugger. Oh, that's Farrah. That's not Hudson. Come on, why don't you go back to sleepy time? He's sleeping on that rat. Oh, you sleeping on that rat. Still keeping my eyes open for Cinnabon. Um... So the next side. Oh, Jim asked. Jim, Jim asked how old uh, Sarah is, and Sarah, you are going to fall if you don't be careful. Sarah came to us when she was seven weeks old. She was born in May 16 of 09. She came here when she when it was uh, June 27 09, and a lady found her in the woods, and she's actually the one who who named Sarah. She goes down to Florida sometimes in the winter, if I remember right, and still keeps in touch once in a while about Farah. We noticed in September that Farah had three seizures in one week. So um, she was she was a baby. I think you guys, most of you know her story. She was just a baby. The very first weight I ever took on her, that was after she was several months old with 304 but the last time I weighed her she's 11 pounds 9 ounces and that's the weight that she keeps um, all the time she stays right there in that ballpark 
cat la lady asked how is Badu coming with her therapy? I think she's doing wonderful. You know, somebody came in here the other day and they said, um, what is her name? Well, she, they asked what her name was and I said Badu and she wouldn't know how to spell it and I told her B-A-D-U and it wasn't until that person made me aware of it and again someone else said it to me today that it's bad you, you know, and I never, ever, ever thought of that when we picked her name out. I don't remember what her meaning of her name was. I just thought it was a pretty name, but we always say Badu, and if not for bad you. But um, maybe, maybe that does give people the wrong impression, so maybe we'll think about that. But um, Badu is doing really good. She left, who was she? Was it Gemini or her mom? Hold her or pet her for quite a while today. What do you guys think about a new name for Badu? Yes or no? New name. Yeah, it's Badu. Named after singer. No, no new name. Some say yes, some say do. No. Stinky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Severin, I still got to name a cat Stinky just for you. Come on. I love, I do like her name too. Go with a new name, have it rhyme. I do is fine. It's a boy's name, means hemp? I didn't know that. No, no, I, no, uh -uh, that was never on purpose as bad you. Never, uh uh. I, I don't, I wouldn't do that. No, nope, just change the spelling a little. <laughs> um, we'll we'll um, think about Badu's name, but I love her. I love her so much, and you know, she, uh, she loves me. And come here. Here's Cinnabon. Here's Cinnabon. Say hi. Say, I wonder how my brother is doing. Yeah, I wonder how my brother's doing. I think he's doing fine. You're just a lover bugger, aren't you? So this one's Cinnabon. Um, you guys got me off track here. So I think she, I think Badu's coming along. We just have to be careful that she doesn't bite anybody. And I'm in no rush to do anything with her. I mean, it's not like we're on a time limit with her. So we're just going to keep on going and... Just kind of keep testing the waters and see how we do with her. And Kim, Kim in, I, I, I know I'm mispronouncing this. Kim in Iowa asked how, how I was doing, and she really wanted to know an answer. I'm doing, I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. And the reason I was chuckling is because about the toilet in my my face, I got a like a quarter size bruise here that I got. Um, I was cleaning the bathroom in the what used to be the clinic out there and my hand slipped out from underneath me and my head fell down and cracked the porcelain and so I thought today in the store somebody asked me about what happened to my jaw and I was thinking there oh I could make up some elaborate story of I was out chasing this cat trying to save her from getting hurt and I made a dive and I caught the cat and saved its life and I thought well that sounds a whole lot better than oh sorry I fell and hit the toilet but um, I'm fine. I'm doing great. I'm doing everything's great. Uh, Donna, Donna Juan, is it? I'm probably mispronouncing that too. Asked about a cat with a up or urinary tract infection about tuna juice. You know, to be honest with you, I have never heard that. And maybe when we, if we rarely get a cat with a urinary tract infection in here, it's just too, too, it's just never happens, hardly ever. But if we do, I will ask my vet, vet about that, one of our vets, and see what he or she thinks about that. I've not heard of it, but they're always coming up with new things. And um, Marka, or Marsha Q, is it, wanted to see Asha. And when I went back there, right before we started, I saw Asha, had seen your question, and I went to get her. And she went back into her, this bed that we have that's way deep. But, but if she comes out, I'll show you, Asha. I love her. I love her. Every time I pick her up, you pick her up and she squeaks. 
and um, she just loves us here. Soxanne asked about the gray kitty that kind of walked a little strange. That's Cutie, and I think someone answered you on that. So that's our little cutie girl. Cat Lady, you and Siamese visit on next Friday, a week from today. Let me just check real quick. That would be perfectly fine. I would love it. So um, just give me maybe a heads up through the email what time, and I will make sure that I'm here. I would love to have you guys come. And Sherry Sweet asked about Sarah being adoptable. She's right here. We have to change her collar, by the way. Her collar is also red, and so we don't want people not to pet Sarah with the red collar because we, we tell people now don't pet the one cat with the red collar. We don't want them to mistake Sarah because Sarah loves people to pet her. Um, <clears throat> right now, I've got Sarah, I think, on hold, it says, in the, in the pet finders. And we will keep her at that until we have a fairly lengthy time without seizures. Or uh, if someone is interested in her, if they have a super excellent vet reference and close contact with their vet, and I know for sure that, that she would be taken care of for always about the seizures, that they have a very good vet for that, then, you know, I would feel comfortable with that. I love her, and uh, I, I don't know. We're just going to kind of wait and see. It, and, you know, and I don't want people to get discouraged either because if we do get some breakthrough seizures, that doesn't mean that the PBs aren't working, the phenobarbs aren't working. It's not uh, all that uncommon to get a few breakthrough seizures. As far as I know, we have not had any on Sarah, and we started nine. Do you guys realize she is in her her tenth week on the phenobar? Can you believe that? I can't really believe that. We started her on a half of one twice a day, and on September first, we started her on one PB twice a day. So um, she's. So that's two, two and a half months. Um, well, yeah, two and a half months that she's been seizure free. But uh, that doesn't mean that we won't have a few breakthroughs. Say hi. We're talking about you. Oh, yeah, you love to talk to Mama. I'll say I love you, everybody. We have a lot of people out there love you, Farah. Yes, sir. They're the ones who send you your pill pocket. She says, oh, thanks. Thanks for those. And... Gita Kins asked about Bella, if Bella is in pain or is she, if she's on medicine. Bella is not in pain. She probably has very little sensation actually in that stump of hers, her new stump. Uh, and she's not on any medicine now. So she's back to 100% being herself. Every single morning I check her little bottom area to make sure that uh, everything looks good. And it does. You can tell it's thickening up there a little bit. And uh, she's just doing really good. So are there any other... Did Dana... No, Donna didn't have any accidental PPs today. Oh, they, oh, I'm so embarrassed. See, I'm so embarrassed that you asked that question. Uh, isn't she a charmer? Oh, my gosh, that's face on her. Jenny, Jenny was here this afternoon, and she made a really good suggestion because I now that we have the picture right here, I can see when I hold these dark cats up, and especially when I have a dark shirt on that, the cats don't show up very well. And she suggested us putting a light up there so that these guys would um, show up better. So I think we might have to do that. So that's Donna. And tonight we're going to leave these little buggers out. We're going to leave them out all night, including Hudson. So uh, hopefully things will go A-OK -okay out here during the nighttime. Hey, oh, you little bugger. <laughs> um, <laughs> he said, somebody better come get me before Jackie tosses me out. Isn't he a stinker pot? What a lot of fun. He just thoroughly enjoys life. Today for breakfast, I think it was three bowls, three dishes that he uh, chomped up. And here's the little cutie Cessna. Aren't they wonderful?
this this little kitty is a is a doll, aren't ya? I'm gonna put you over here because Thomas, um, um, Thomas is trying to get you. Oh stop! Oh stop! Oh stop! You guys don't get to see her too often, I don't think. You all know who this is. Oh yeah, Bushka. Queen got it already. So did Pika, of course. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. She's a good girl. Let me go see if I can find Asha, girl. When I when I picked her up, <laughs> you know, and she loves me, but she loves everybody. She says I'll I'll headbutt anybody. Be careful, my jaw's a little sore. Aren't you wonderful? Mm. Aww. She's purring. How could how could anybody not have seen what her personality was? We just don't understand it, do we? All right. You want me to put you back where you were? Oh, look at you. She's actually, Pika, she actually has been in my house a few times. Yeah, I remember that leg of hers. It looked like a W, and it had to have hurt. It had to have hurt so bad. All right, I hear, and I knew you was involved. Come here, give me that kitty. Oh my goodness! I think we'll put on Pet Finders free one Cobbett boy. Here's our Weezy. Here's our Weezy baby. I say hi, everybody. Uh huh. I'm a whiner boy. I'm a whiner boy. Oh, yes, you are. Here, why don't you stay up there and be safe? Mm -hmm. Hi, Yaki. Oh. <laughs> You're kind of butt heavy there, buddy. This is Tilo. This is little Tilo boy. Isn't he handsome? He sure looks like his mama, Raza, doesn't he? He's got that same face as his mama. Wiggles, let me look. I'm looking, but here's Wonder. Oh, oh my goodness. Here's Wonder. Isn't she pretty? She's got the cutest little face. Yeah, that wasn't Wiggles. Isn't she pretty? This is one of the ones that um, Jody fostered. Here you go, baby cakes. Oh, Here's Fozzie. Oh, you know, Fozzie and, uh, oh, I still got Asha hair up me. Um, and Rizzo, you know, their brother, sister, they've got that beautiful uh, fur. 
It's not really tigery. I still think it's like an Abyssinian. We'll have people come in here and say, is that an Abyssinian mix? He was playing with the ball down there. All right, go play with your toys. Right there it is. Here, go get it. Go get it. Still looking for wigs. Spiegels. There's Hudson. Oh. So Patty Cake sure. Isn't he handsome? This boy is just as soft as soft can be. You don't have a care in the world, do you? Let me see if I can find Patty Cake. Patty cake, who totally cracks me up. He's just a, he's, he just, bah, ow, every time I pick him up. Where's your seepin'? Where's the seepy baby boy? So this is Patty Cake. He's handsome. And here is Patty Purr. First time. <laughs> You big kisser boy. You big kisser boy. Who is this? You smell like pizza. You smell like pizza, huh? Yeah, tell everybody hi. And this one's Patty Purr. Aren't they? Just look at the hair on these guys. No wonder we brush them. You know, we brush them two or three times a day. Oh, they're wonderful. Sometimes we have to cut their muff here because when they lick it to clean it get, and they pull their head up, it gets stuck in their mouths. It's so long. Hey, Donna, be careful with Weezy. Hey, what's that, Wiggles? You're moving too fast. No. We'll get you here. Here's Cyrilla. Her and Derby are kind of a little bit look alike. Cyrilla. Says, I need a home. I've decided it's time to find me a home. Huh. Yeah, she was a itty bitty baby when she first came. She's purring her little heart out. Aren't you a sweetheart? Oh, we love you. And come here. Come here. Oh. You guys are sick. What are you doing? You goofballs. You guys know who this is? Yeah, Bumblebee. I like to test you guys. <laughs> I think that was this morning. I think it was this morning. One of the volunteers was looking for someone and not quite sure she had the right kitty and held the kitty up. I was in there working on the computer and held the kitty up and asked you guys if it was the right cat. I just thought, oh gosh, that's kind of funny. Isn't she beautiful? No, uh, no, uh, yeah, she she likes the uh, marshmallow beds. I have seen her in the marshmallow bed. Oh, she's purring, too. All right, down you go, baby cake. And our big boy, Whiffin. I'll look for Hetty here in just a minute. Yeah, yeah, she used to sleep in that purple marshmallow bed. Oh, whiffing in his brother buffing. I'll look for, uh, who is that, Hetty?
sleeping in the basket so sweet this is one of my favorites too <clears throat> any news about jeepers uh, the first guy that had called about jeepers he's decided that he cannot do a cat yet in his life and I'm still waiting on that second person to get back with us the cow, when are we going to bring the cats up from cats go uh, well, the weather is definitely getting more wintry, and Kurt is working at a mad pace. Um, he's actually now got all those, uh, all the cat shelves and all the cat sleeping beds into the clinic right now. Everything is all spread out. He's going to start staining um, tomorrow. Each, there's, gosh, hey, Kurt, do you know how many pieces you have actually all together? The, um, the the cat sleeping bag boxes are uh, each each box unit is made up of seven pieces, so each of those have to be seen. And then he's got uh, eight, I think he said eight shelves to do. But keep in mind, some of these shelves are what ten feet long, I think, and they have the uh, support bar underneath them too. So. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of wood, but it only takes one stain and hi cover. And then, uh, Kurt, where do you put three layers of the poly? The spirurethane. Three, three coats? Yeah, spirurethane. Oh, spiral? Spire. Spirurethane. Spirurethane. There'll be three coats of that on each one. So, uh, but we're planning on Monday. Monday, we hope to, to move them in. The weather's definitely is getting colder and uh, not so fun for them out there. Uh, they, they were out once this week um, and got to run around. Can you talk about wet food versus dry food? Um, our vets recommend both, uh, wet food and dry food. Um, we, keep, we keep water out. I tell everybody, start at the easiest water out 24 7 and then we feed the good quality we just talked about that tonight where chicken is the first ingredient or a meat not a meat byproduct but a meat as their dry food and we keep that out here 24 7 and then our vets all of them that we work with highly recommend canned food the um, dry food is good for the crunchies to help keep the tartar down but the canned food has a lot of water in it and a lot of protein in it. It's good for them. Um, we we especially recommend, especially especially recommend uh, canned food for boy cats because you know their little urethras are smaller than what the girls are. And if any of you have ever dealt with a male cat that gets clubbed up uh, with the crystals, it is not fun. It can be a life and death matter, and it can be a chronic problem. So with the moist food, uh, with those little boys or any boys, big boys, up to their their time is done, we feed canned food and it keeps those crystals moving if they are prone to have those. And also cats that are rather chunky, to say it nicely, fat, and they need to lose weight, our vets will highly recommend doing even more canned food versus the uh, dry food because there's generally less. Uh, calories in the canned food than what there is in the dry food. So we do we do dry and the can. Hope that answered the thought of what you were thinking about. Wants to Tommy Lee wants to stop by tomorrow. Hey Tommy, we would love to have you come. Dulcie, I'll look for Dulcie. <laughs> D 
Yeah, everybody always thinks it's, it's the other way around. Okay, let me see if I can still find Dulce and um, Wiggles yet. And then I'm going to clean up and probably try to go in. Something different. Okay, uh, Dulce, I saw you over here a little bit ago. Did you see? Here's a little Dulce baby. Ghost. Ghosty what? Oh, Ghosty. Yes, I have to have to uh, talk to you or email. Either call me or email me, okay? Yeah, thanks, Ghosty. Isn't isn't Dulcie wonderful? Such a pretty kitty. He's got his little whiskers. A couple of them got shortened up. He's so sleepy. Oh my goodness. Cinnabon, you better move out of the runway area there. Hey, Asha. Okay, since I don't see Wiggles, my last one will be Dulcie. Oh, not Dulcie, Nuki. Sorry, Nuki. She's got a totally different face than the other three babies, the Claudius and Kathy and uh, Chia group. Aww. And remember how bad her leg was when she first came? That was awful. Yeah, she was in there sleeping as well. Okay, little sleepy baby cake. Let's go back in your room. Whoops, watch out. Uh, whoops. You went over there, I'll help you, Miranda. There you go. Oh my goodness. I don't have very much room up here for you, do I? Okay, let's start getting things back in order. Hey, hey, hey. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, nice. 